everyone. Welcome to our science lesson, the water cycle. We all know that water is a natural resource that we use it in many different ways. All the living things cannot live without water. If there is no water, there will be no life on earth. But how does water exist and how does it move on earth? Water is all around us. Where can we find water? It is in our homes, in rivers, lakes, and in oceans too. But from where we can get water also? Can you guess? Yes, from rain. But what do you know about rain? What causes it to rain? And how do clouds form? We will find all the answers in our lesson, the water cycle. But first, let's learn the vocabulary of this lesson. Water vapor. Water vapor is water that goes up into the air. It is too small to see. In order to understand water vapor, you can look at the steam that goes from boiling water in a kettle or a pot. Clouds. Clouds are tiny drops of water and bits of ice that collect in the sky. Cycle. A cycle means several things that happen same way many times in a row. I will repeat, cycle, cycle, a cycle means several things that happen same way many times in a row. You know that the sun warms the land, air and water. When the, when the sun warms water, some water starts to change and moves up. It turns into water vapor. What is the meaning of water vapor? Water vapor is water that goes up in the, in the air. It is too small to be seen. The water vapor that goes up into the air is warm, but as it gets high in the air, it cools a little bit and turns back into drops of water, forming clouds. So clouds form of drops of water. Now the water drops get bigger and colder and they can fall to earth as rain or, or snow. Some of the rain falls back onto land or back into the water. The sun heats the water again and the water vapor goes up into the air again and then the cycle begins again. I will repeat the water cycle. In the water cycle, when the sun warms water, it turns into water vapor that goes up to the sky where it cools and turns into clouds, then fall back into, then fall back into earth again. So, in the water cycle, the water keeps traveling up and down in a cycle all around the earth. Now, what can fall from the clouds? Yes, rain. Rain is drops of water. What also? Snow. Snow is soft white flakes of ice. We have also sleet. Sleet is frozen rain. It's slushy and can be slippery if you walk on. Hail. Hail can be big or small lumps of ice. Hail could be dangerous if it falls on people or their cars. Now, what are some different kinds of clouds? Clouds 
do not always look the same. Some are thin and few in the sky. Some are puffy and white and some are gray. That is because there are many different kinds of clouds. Well, let's review and try to, uh, to answer some questions. What happens as the sun warms water? Water slowly melts, water starts to boil, or water turns to vapor. Very good. Water turns to vapor. Two, what happens when water vapor cools in the sky? A, clouds form, or B, wind blows. Excellent clouds form three water vapor is water that goes into the air goes what up or down look here yes it goes up good job number four what happens to water droplets that collect in clouds a they turn into wind or b they fall as rain or ice yes super they fall as rain or ice thank you for listening goodbye